I was mortified. Oh God, Dakota, I didn't talk to him for quite some time after that. It would be the first of many times that I stopped talking to him. And all I could do was pick up the pieces. You, you learn who your real friends are really quickly. You know, I went from being this, you know, perky, energetic, but relatively unknown new kid to suddenly, you know, this big gay whore. Apparently, I was sleeping with every and anyone under the sun. And, you know, I, I had crushes or flings with, you know, gay guys, straight guys, any guy you could name. So what could I do? I did the only thing I knew to do. In order to set things straight, I, I owned up to what was true so that people would believe me when I say, hey, that's bullshit, that's just a rumor. You know, so I, I just came clean day after day after day you know I, it was so frustrating yes I did this with him no I, I he and I have never even had a conversation like that who said I would do such a thing like that like I had supposedly t d destroyed relationships and all sorts of craziness and so my coming out my coming out at large was sifting through the lies there were nights where I just cried I didn't understand. I was like, why would someone do this to me? Why would anyone, like, I've never gone out of my way to cause anyone pain. So this was, this was completely new to me. But I picked up the pieces and I moved on. This isn't, this isn't about pity. This isn't me looking for sympathy. This isn't even about, you know, villainizing Dakota. To this day, we still speak. To this day, I still love him. To this day, if he picked up the phone and said, Pop, I need you. Siobhan, I need you. God damn it, come hell in high water. If I gotta beg, borrow, and steal, I'm making my way to where he is. It's just the kind of friend I am. Oh, but for a while I felt so alone. It was, it was insane. And all the while, I'm just, I'm looking for someone to love. And you know how it is. I hadn't given up women. I still haven't given up women. I, hi, I'm Siobhan Peterson, pop, poetic papa. And I'm a well-adjusted, happy, bisexual male. But yeah, I, I hadn't given up women. And as soon as a high school girl finds out you like guys, they want nothing to do with you. It's like leprosy.
Everyone's afraid of catching it. I was miserable for a while. But the moral of the story is that I got through it. The truth got me into a lot of shit. But in the end, I guess the truth did set me free. It set my heart free. It opened my it opened my heart and mind to new things that I hadn't even imagined. The truth started all those rumors, but the truth is also what put them to rest. That was 2005. Gee golly. My experience as, as a bisexual is, you know, my experience as the current me. The current me has existed only as long as YouTube. <laughs> And yet my YouTube career is still brand new. I'm sure there's a metaphor in there somewhere. I'll let you guys fill in the blanks. <laughs>